Our first story of the day. Mayor joins Rochdale Environmental Action Group in cleaning for the Queen. The Mayor of the Borough of Rochdale, Surinder Byant, joined members of the Rochdale Environmental Action Group to clean up for the Queen around Rochdale Infirmary. Clean up for the Queen is a campaign to clear up Britain in time for Her Majesty's 90th birthday, which will be officially celebrated in June 2016. Danchuk Expensive claims to be investigated by Metropolitan Police. Rochdale MP Simon Danchuk Expensive claims will be investigated by the Metropolitan Police Service Homicide and Major Crime Command Unit. The operation head of the Met's Special Enquiry team has confirmed. Newborn baby died due to substandard care at Royal Oldham Hospital. Four-day-old Dylan Oates from Little Borough baby died as a result of failings at the Royal Oldham Hospital, an inquest has heard. North Manchester coroner Lisa Hashmi said staff missed irregularities in Dylan's heartbeat as he and his mother were not efficiently monitored. Detectives arrest third man over the murder of Joel Uden. Detectives investigate the murder of Moss leader Joel Uden have arrested a third man. The 21-year-old has been detained on suspicion of conspiracy to commit murder and has been taken into police custody for questioning. Heartbroken daughter appeals for help to fund Headstone for a mother. Paige Murray, 13, whose mum died suddenly, is trying to raise money for a headstone, so she has a place to go and talk to her in the cemetery. Paige was grief-stricken when her mum, Tasha Sparks, died of a suspected heart attack last Monday at her home in Whitworth, aged just 32. First class pint, old post office transformed into village alehouse. Castleton's old post office building has been transformed into a quirky new alehouse to deliver a first class pint. The old post office ale house on Manchester Road has a selection of local cask ales, which have attracted people from across the borough. Now time for the sports. Coventry City 0, Rochdale 1. Ian Henderson scored a last minute penalty, turning Rochdale maximum points in a tight game at the Rico Arena. The Dale skipper was impended by John Fleck, but dusted himself down to convert from 12 yards for his 12th goal of the season. Rochdale Hornets 28. Hunslet Hawks 18. In a game of two halves, Rochdale Hornets turned on this style in a second half to defeat Hunslet Hawks in the season's opener at Spotland Stadium. Ellis Robinson, huge support for paralysed footballer. Former Rochdale Academy player, Ellis Robinson, 17, dreamed of becoming a professional footballer, but he has been dealt a devastating blow after a freak accident left him paralysed from the shoulders down, leaving his family worried that he might not walk again. Daniel Mahmood keeps up Queensway ABC's winning streak. Daniel Mahmood kept up Queensway Amateur Boxing Club winning streak when he travelled to Liverpool to take on Crocs Teeth, ABC's Boxing Elliot Dwyer. That's the latest news. Don't forget to check out rochdaleonline.co.uk and our Twitter at Rochdale Online.